Hey Curious, when you think about people working in the oh-so-glamorous business of entertainment, you imagine them making a lot of money and being set for the rest of their lives. Though life is a funny thing, as I'm sure we've all realized during this crazy 2020, you can never know what's heading your way. And if anyone knows what that is like, then surely that would be Lonnie Wilson. And how did this woman go from gracing the covers of magazines and being married to Baywatch star Jeremy Jackson to being homeless on the streets of Los Angeles? Who exactly was she? And what happened between the couple? Did an incident involving her ex-husband tip her over the edge and lead her to take this course? Stay with me to find out just exactly what happened to her, but before we continue, don't forget to hit the bell and the subscription button so you don't miss any of our future videos. Lonnie Willison was born on May 21st of 1983 in Hemet, California. She is a former fitness model and in the past has graced the covers of magazines such as Iron Man, Max Sports, and Fitness, and Glam Fit. However, she is most known for her marriage to the Baywatch star Jeremy Jackson. In the show, he was known for playing the character of Hobie Buchanan, where he appeared in 159 episodes, which was more than any other actor apart from David Hasselhoff. The pair got married in 2012, and from photos of them from those times, they were inseparable. They both appeared on covers of magazines, many of those for fitness magazines. And as things like this go, they of course would attend a lot of different red carpet events, joined at the hip and looking madly in love. Though sadly their romance was ill-fated and in 2014, after a series of arguments while under the influence, the paid decided to get a divorce after just two years of being married. Lonnie alleged that the reason for choice was that she was attacked by her then-husband, as a result of which he had suffered two broken ribs, neck injuries, and scratches to her face. Though it is worth noting here that this is what she had claimed and it's unclear whether Jackson was arrested at the time. After the split, Willison would stay out of the limelight and according to the mirror would occasionally resurface to publicly critique her ex. One of those moments was in 2015 when Jeremy was appearing on the Celebrity Big Brother in the UK and in one of the episodes after having too many drinks, he was in the bathroom being sick when model Chloe Goodman went in to help them. After a few moments, she stormed out crying. Through the tears, she told the other contestants that he had pulled down her dressing gown to expose her. This resulted in Jackson being kicked off the program. After hearing what had happened, Lonnie urged Chloe to seek legal justice, and in an interview with The Sun, she revealed that not having done that herself after he had attacked her the previous year. Speaking with the tabloid, she said, Chloe should report Jeremy to the police for his own good. I didn't report him when he attacked me because I was scared. I was in a bad place emotionally, and I didn't want Jeremy to go to jail. She went on to add that she was not all surprised by something like that as she knew Jackson and to her it was irresponsible for the producers to let him drink knowing about his problems with addiction. It was around that time when Willison's life took a turn for the worse as she suffered a mental breakdown which in the end led her to losing her job as an assistant at a cosmetic surgery center in LA. According to the Mirror, afterward, Lonnie was dealt with a series of blows which resulted in her being left in a hopeless situation. Her lack of income soon meant that she was unable to pay for her bills and rent and that is how the former cover girl ended up becoming evicted from her apartment and due to that she was no longer able to pay for the upkeep, even of her car. She then ended up on the streets with just the contents of a suitcase and what came as a battle of a lifetime for the young model when she began struggling with addiction to illegal substances. Her problems and current state had soon led her to mental health deteriorating and in 2018 she spoke with reporters from Daily Mail TV where she revealed to them that she had done everything that she could to avoid being assaulted on the streets and told them that she hasn't showered in a year and kept herself looking as dirty as possible. Speaking to those same reporters, she also revealed that at the time her life had spiraled and that she had a lot of friends and family but everyone that she spoke to and here I quote, at the time seemed really strange. The former fitness model talked about how she struggled to get across to them and what she was talking about wasn't even the simple things so that's why she stopped talking to everyone. That same year, former friend Kristen Rossetti offered Lonnie help. Having seen the heartbreaking pictures of Willison sleeping under a shopping cart in West Hollywood, Rossetti tracked her friend down and put her in a hotel for a night. She also gave her fresh clothes and a hot meal. Teaming up with Kristen, Daily Mail TV, who had been reporting on Lonnie's situation, called upon the expertise of illegal substance rehab specialist Larry Marinelli, who is also Rossetti's close friend. 
Through his own contacts and business, the expert offered the former model who had fallen down on her luck professional help for free. According to the tabloid, he laid down a treatment plan for her as well as secured her a bed in Victory Detox Center in North Hollywood. After she would spend 30 to 60 days there, he also offered her several months of intensive outpatient treatment in his own business, True Intentions Sober Living in Tarzana. In all, he was offering Lonnie a $90,000 worth of treatment to help her get clean so she could get her life together. After spending the one night in the hotel, she decided to leave. And at the time, devastated Kristen said, we've tried everything we could but just couldn't get through to her. Lonnie needs our help desperately. She needs to be off the streets and get in care. It makes me so sad but you can't force someone to accept your help. She needs to want to help herself. And after that, Willison had disappeared and none of her friends or close ones knew where she was. 24 months had passed and Lonnie had once again been spotted out and about in the streets of Los Angeles as she dug through bins in an attempt to find food and clothing. She was approached by reporters from The Sun who had offered to help her but as before, she rejected them. She did however speak with them and revealed that she hasn't spoke to Jeremy since their breakup and that she doesn't want to speak to him or her friends and that she's doing just fine. She added that she can live her own life and has everything that she needs with her. She has food and a place to sleep and that she has money here and there and that the food in the bins and near the stores is enough to get her going. She also revealed that she does not own a cell phone. According to Hive News, previously Lonnie's net worth was estimated to be at $1.6 million but given her current situation, it can't be assumed that not much is left of that money anyways. And now that Lonnie's life has been turned upside down and not all that easy, what has been up with her ex-husband Jeremy Jackson? Recently, Jackson has been seen partying with his on-screen dad David Hasselhoff as he celebrated his 40th birthday. And obviously, it was done in style. He went on an archery session with the Hoff, with the latter showing off his skills with a bow an arrow on his social media. But the real party didn't start until later, when friends of the family joined Jackson at his party in a huge tent. And during the celebrations, Jeremy himself took to the stage to sing some of the songs before Rhett Nesbitt continued entertaining everyone with a live set from his band. You'd almost think that there was some sort of global pandemic going around, right? So far, there have been no official comments from Jeremy about Lonnie and if he feels about her remotely close, how she seems to feel about him, then chances are that we probably shouldn't be expecting a comment anytime soon. And while Jackson has been busy having fun at his birthday bash, what have his other Baywatch co-stars been up to? Besides partying with his on-screen son, The Hoff has been busy appearing in an advert for the Fuser, which is a brand new rhythm console game set set to come out this November. And in the trailer, he gets into the role of his in-game persona, DJ Hoff. Another exciting news for the actor is that DC has announced that he will be voicing Superman. Yes, you heard that right, but no, it's not a movie about the superhero, it's just an upcoming series of animated shorts that are based on DC Comics arc Dark Knight's Death Metal. Hey, if the there are any fellow DC fans watching this, what are your thoughts on that choice? The actress Nicole Eggert, who portrayed Summer Quinn on the show, has recently revealed her decision to leave the show early. Speaking on Australia's This Morning show, she explained that at the start it was all overwhelming for her, and she said that until taking on a role on Baywatch, her career was different until then, and that all that attention made her instinct tell her to get away from it and go back to where she was before. Speaking with the host, she said that we went from Baywatch bimbos to Baywatch babes, now to Baywatch icons. It's grown with us, but in the beginning, it was a little terrifying for me. And in the end, she did add that in the hindsight, she would have stuck with it and that she does regret her decision a bit. So curious, what are your thoughts on Lonnie's situation? Do you think her family and friends should step in and be more firm with her? Or should she be left to do as she pleases? And were you fans of Baywatch? And if so, who was your favorite character? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you guys next time.